Well, welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Sun Bob and we're playing Robocraft. And we've got a big, some big news that just hit, landed on the Robocraft game.com website. Mark, uh, the game director at Robocraft, and he's the CEO of Free Jam, has posted a state of the game st statement. And I'm just going to hit some highlights here. But let's take a look at it. You can go if you want. You can go to robocraftgame.com and you can certainly read it through for yourself. But he says that the past few weeks have been pretty mega. They've got 35 people in their studio now and this last update has been huge. I'm very pleased overall. Um, They've had measured their biggest ever increase in the percentage of new users who install the game and are still playing seven and 14 days later. Um, hasn't all been peaches and cream. We've been, uh, they certainly have gotten a lot of feedback, but they're planning on changing some things. He's telling us he wants to give us an opportunity to give you some more info on the chances of items dropping in crates. He does say that they are going to stay with the crate based economy rather than the robots, robots economy. Um, now some changes, some tweaks they've made. Legendaries are five times more likely to appear in a plutonium crate over a bronze crate. 25 times more likely to appear in a plutonium crate over a rusty crate. Twice as likely to appear in 1500 CPU matches than 500 CPU matches. Um, that's fair. There is zero chance of getting commons in a 15 plus CPU match in gold, diamond, or plutonium. Uh, by commons, I'm pretty much pretty certain that's just cubes and that makes sense because most people who are building bots at the 1500 plus level already have all the cubes they need. Next steps. With epic loot, loot complete and phase two complete. The back-end technology is fully up and running and the entire development team is now free to focus on improving the game and delivering more of the things you want. And they're already started on five main areas. First of all, quality of life. Yes. So many have asked about quality of life features and we're finally able to get on and get some of them done for you. Here's what's coming. Commas to break up all big numbers in game to improve readability. Okay. Um, don't know anything about coding, but that should take about 10 minutes. Uh, allow users to to play players to place movement components directly on the ground in the editor without the need to attach a block first, including mech legs, tank tracks, and other parts. So we can lay our parts out when we're building. I like that. Uh, strafing movement capability for meg legs and insect legs. If, um, okay. Moving on to hover blades after that, I'll talk about how this will all work in the forums in more detail. Later this week. We're really excited to commence our first community poll where you can vote on which quality of life features you'd like us to add. Hmm, we'll look forward to that. Keep an eye on robocraftgame.com for more details on how to cast your vote. <coughs> okay, looks interesting. Um, I'm sort of an opinion opinionated old cuss. I'll definitely get involved in that poll. Social features. 
we've started a long program of work that we will release in steps to bring you a whole suite of improved social features. An overhauled chat system. Oh boy, do we need that. An overhauled platoon system. Yeah, that would be nice. And finally, clans. We've been talking about clans for so long now, and we finally started the development of the building blocks that will allow us to eventually get these to you. That would be fun. That would be fun. It also will change the game, but that's okay. That's the kind of stuff that could be, could be fun. New user retention. We will continue some of our focus on new user retention. They need to do this. We need new players, but this time I'm finally doing the more obvious things that should help with this. For example, adding a tutorial and AI bots version of game modes. Better feedback to help users learn how to build good robots and better feedback in game to help them pick up and play more easily. Not sure what they're saying there. I like the idea of the tutorials. And if I hope they do AIs better than than single player version. Uh, more content, maps, game modes, weapons, blocks, modules. Stepping up our program to bring you more content, more maps, more game modes, more blocks, and improve the quality of some of those you feel need updating. Um, I don't know about needing more weapons, at least for a while. Um, but definitely would would like to see uh, a new map or two come down the road just for more variety uh, more community interaction we want to increase our interaction with all of you with community events the first one coming later this week okay we'll watch for that community polls on what quality of life features should be implemented next and also an additional community manager to work alongside Drognan to double our ability to process your feedback and get responses to you. They're now getting big enough that they can afford uh, a marketing department. That's okay. I like that. Finally, I want to finish, finish with a huge, huge thank you. Thank you for all the feedback, even the really angry stuff. Thank you for sticking by us through so many huge fundamental changes to the game you love. I can honestly say that crazy big ones are behind us now and it's just cool stuff from here on in. I generally hope we can repay you for all the dedication and support with quality delivery of some great improvements to the game coming up that you all will love. Cheers, Mark. And that's it. Well, interesting, interesting. Well, just to give you total first off the top of my head reactions, because this is quite honestly the first time I've read it. <coughs> um, I like, the crates are okay. I'm still, still looking for something some reason to play at the high levels um, just personally and I don't know I wish I had a good idea of what that would be um, I am glad now that they can focus on quality of life social features kinds of stuff that's what I like to see um, I like the ideas that they talked about here Allowing you, when you're building, to put everything out on the floor so that you can see what you're doing and also get an idea of how many CPUs it's going to take to use those track tank tracks and those mech legs and those weapons. Because I don't know about you, but when I build a bot, I think of, I want it, the, the, meth, the, the movement type. You know, I want to build a tank. I want to make the tank with the four biggest tracks I can put on it. And I want 
these SMGs, I want, I want these weapons on it. So I can lay those out, and then I've got an idea of what I've got left to flesh out the body. I do not know what they mean by the strafing movement. Um, just don't know. I, I guess maybe I'm being an old fuddy-duddy on that, but I don't quite understand, but that's fine. We'll see what that's all about. Love the idea of overhauling chat, overhauling the platoon system, and then finally clans. I like... I'm not a big user of chat right now. It doesn't seem to be exciting to me. Um, I like to platoon with people. I enjoy that very much, but I'd like to have a better way to communicate so we can actually do more than just make sure we play in the same game. Right now, the platoon system, unless you go to a voice chat, an external voice chat, really all it does for me is uh, I know I'm going to be in the same match with, uh, with somebody. And clans. Clans could be interesting. That can introduce some dynamics that might be a little, might be uh, a little spooky for me. Uh, but that'll be up to us to deal with. Please keep the new users. We need the new blood coming. I like the idea of adding tutorials. Um, and I've been thinking of doing some tutorial videos for the new person, for the new user. Um, but boy, if they can do that, that would be awesome. More content maps. Maps, maps, maps. Give me another map. Give me two or three new maps. Um, I don't care about new weapons right now. I think we've got too many weapons, personally, just off the top of my head. Uh, new blocks, maybe make our, you know, some nice sleeker um, looking bots. I think that might be nice. Modules, not sure what they'd be looking at, but uh, I'll be interested in seeing what they do. But overall, I think, uh, first of all, overall, I, I do now having had a chance to play it for a while I like the, the new epic loot meta um, obviously I think there's some tweaking to be done I like playing on my new newbie account because there's something to play for leveling up acquiring new weapons that's fun I'm having a lot of fun with that. As you can tell by uh, the kinds of videos I'm putting up, I'm putting up newbies. Um, but at the high, you know, on my main account where I'm at 1750, uh, it's a little boring right now. So I'll be interested in seeing what, what they might do to offer some incentives and some kind of Something to strive for at that level. But overall, I'm, I'm very pleased and having fun. So, somebody, I just heard a, a note that somebody, Cyber Levels has invited me to a pl platoon. Well, folks. I think it's time to call this video a wrap and move on to a little bit of gameplay. As I take my new person account from level 14 to level 15. And who knows, maybe there's another video in the, in the making. Well, thanks for joining me. We've got new things coming down the road. I'm glad that Mark posted that info. That's that's really going to be helpful. And as always, do your battling in the games, but in your world. I bid you peace. Bye-bye.